Nothing's really hampered our preparation. I think if you look at our run of games coming up, uh, this will be our best preparation for a while. We've have a, you know, we had a couple of days off there. We've got 16 games uh, in a row now, so we've kind of got a long run of games. But we had a couple of days off last week, and we've got a really good prep um, going to this first game. We've got a, a proper seven-day turnaround, so we started our training uh, yesterday. Uh, we've got a double day today. We have day off tomorrow, and then typical Thursday on Saturday, and captain's run on Sunday. So it's a, it's a normal week. And if you look at our, our next couple of weeks, we've got a six-day turnaround and a six-day turnaround. So Monday, Monday game into a Sunday game into a Saturday game. So, yeah, it's all part of, it's all part of um, the environment that we live in now, adapting to different situations. Academy players came into our bubble uh, not long ago. We, we sort of got them cleared to come in and, and train with the senior squad. So we've got good numbers at the moment and we'll definitely be using a number of those players over the next three games. It's hard to tell who's academy and who's senior at the moment. They're all putting their hand up. Um, I think uh, we'll be giving guys, because we've, we've sort of got a bit of depth there in certain positions, we'll, we'll definitely be giving some guys some opportunities over the next couple of games. Um, and I guess you'll see when the, when the teams have been selected, you'll see um, who's getting their shot and you'll know that that's going to be a big moment for that player. These young players, if we're just talking about the academy players that have come in, particularly the forwards, um, they're well aware of, of the way that we're trying to play with momentum and they're, they're aware of our structures and they know uh, what skills they can use to create that momentum for us. I think, I think it's progressing really well. We've actually got a, a number of young players coming into the team who are very good carriers of the ball, very good attacking players. So, like I said, when you see the team selected over the next couple of weeks, you'll see that these guys will get their opportunity and, and I'm looking forward to seeing every one of them take part. Yeah, geez, they're an excellent side. Uh, I think they're they're much improved from last year. They're top of the conference, obviously. Uh, defensively, uh, they're exceptional. Um, they've only conceded one try uh, this season so far. So, uh, I think probably breakdown wise, we're going to be we're going to be tested there, which which is great. They've got a nice balance between the forwards and the backs, and uh, to be honest, they've they've got a very round uh, very round game. So we'll uh, we'll be looking for a very tough match. Look, obviously, it's it's hugely disappointed, and we understand how privileged we are here to. To be able to to work away and and, and play the games uh, during lockdown, and all we can try to do is put on a performance for those fans at home who can't be there in Tone Park with us, um, and and obviously we have to just make do with with the cardboard cutouts for now. But uh, obviously in the new future we'd hope we'd hope that they'd be in Tone Park with us as long as it's all safe. I think every opportunity that you get to to even to be on the bench or be involved in the team or be in the starting squad, all you got to do is is try to pull a performance for yourself and also for the team and, and put the team forward. Uh, probably from a personal point of view, uh, for me, just want to try and come back and and do my best for the team and try to get a win on on uh, Monday night. I've actually I've moved around over the last couple of years. I've probably uh, kind of broke through into the team, uh, playing six, and uh, I'm starting to to try to learn uh, line of calling a lot more in training and things like that. And I'm probably kind of the second kind of line of caller behind. Uh, Billy and Tyg, if one of those go down, I'm kind of the next in line. So my kind of my role in the team kind of varies. Obviously, uh, between uh, four, five, and six, I haven't really played six in a while. But at the moment, it's it's, it's looking kind of for that four position, that that tight end lock position, and uh, that's probably where where I'm needed at the moment for the team. Yeah, delighted with how it's all gone. Um, like you said, a bit of a dream start, but. Uh, I kind of know that it's it's only two games at the same time, so um, we're into a block of. 16 weeks in a row now, so uh, that's kind of where my focus is lying and uh, getting as much game time under my belt as possible. So obviously delighted, like you said, with how it's gone, but it's only two games at the same time. Obviously delighted to get the first two wins of the season, but ideally it's not coming down to the last kick each time. So um, I think you don't really worry too much about that leading into a game. We're just focused on getting a, a good performance. Um, ideally, we get a better performance than maybe the first two games of the season, but um, we'll take a win either way like we have the first two. First year I came out of school, <clears throat> I probably played nearly 10 games at Gary Owen, so um, yeah, I felt really comfortable out there towards the end and, and really enjoyed playing there. I think the IIL 1A is a good standard anyway, and I was exposed to some really good coaching out there as well. Um, I actually worked with a coach who I worked with in school out there and uh, people like Conan Doyle, and even now they've got uh, Tyler Blind all out there so for me as a 10 coming through it was a massive stepping stone uh, high level rugby and like I said excellent coaching.